everything that you would have. Because if you have never been through a storm, one is coming. I believe, Ricky, a great storm is coming. But some of you know what it means to go through a time of trouble and disappointment and heartbreak and heartache. On the first December, this past December, we had just finished the service at our Sebring Church, and we were heading on 301 to Bradenton for another service. And we were to spend the evening, that Saturday evening, with some friends in Gibsonton. And then the next morning we were to give a program at a Baptist church in Bradenton. But as we were heading on 301 to Gibsonton, we were cruising down the highway at about 50. And from our right, a young lady pulled out in front of us. And we had zero time to react and we hit her at full speed and bounced off of her and went soaring across the highway and ended in a ditch on the other side of the highway. And when it was all said and done, Amy had suffered some injuries, a broken hand, a broken right hand. She wasn't able to play the piano for many, many weeks and other injuries. You should have seen her the day or two after when she was black and blue from tip to toe. And our main concern was my broken sternum. Now let me say this to you. If you have never broken your sternum, don't. <laughs> Diana can relate to this. God has been good to you, hasn't he, honey? Yes. But they put me in the hospital and they wanted to observe me. There was some blood there between the sternum and the heart. But uh, after many, many weeks of recovery, uh, it took me a long time to be able to breathe good, talk. Surely couldn't say. But we had to cancel many, many weeks of programs. But God is good. He's healing us. Day by day, week by week, month by month. Somebody asked me the other day, how's the sternum doing? And I said, well, just ever so often, just occasionally, when I'm hitting a kind of a loud, long note, I can still feel something occasionally rattling around in there. But God is good. God is good. And I'll tell you that experience to tell you this. When we walk through a storm, God walks with us. He has promised Diana, and you know this, He has promised never to leave us or forsake us. But he says, I will go with you even to the end. So we're grateful today for healing. And Patty told me a while ago, evidently, God is not finished with you yet. And I believe that. I believe it. So if you're going through a storm, maybe it's a car accident, maybe it's a the loss of a loved one, the sickness, financial woes, the loss of a job, whatever the storm, reach out, grab a hold of the big hand of God, and He will walk through that storm with you, and He will see you through. How many of you believe that today? What have you done to deserve?